He is known for his argument that hypotheses are not straightforwardly refuted by experiment and that there are no crucial experiments in science. He is recognized for his formulation of the thesis that the failure of a predicted phenomenon puts not only the question proposition but also the entire theoretical scaffolding into doubt. His name is Pierre Duhem. Pierre Duhem, a renowned philosopher of science, was a pioneer in challenging the traditional notions of hypothesis testing and experiment in the field of science. His influential thesis argued that experiments do not straightforwardly refute hypotheses and that there are no crucial experiments in science. According to Duhem, if a predicted phenomenon fails to materialize, it not only casts doubt on the specific proposition being tested but also calls into question the entire theoretical framework employed by the physicist. Duhem's groundbreaking ideas were expounded in his seminal work, The Aim and Structure of Physical Theory, published in 1906. In this influential treatise, he took aim at Sir Isaac Newton's claim that his law of universal mutual gravitation was derived from empirical phenomena, including Johannes Kepler's second and third laws of planetary motion. This assertion had already faced criticism from the likes of the German logician Leibniz and the renowned philosopher Immanuel Kant, who had built upon David Hume's logical critique of induction. However, Duhem introduced a novel perspective by suggesting that Newton's theory of universal mutual gravity actually contradicted Kepler's laws due to interplanetary gravitational perturbations causing deviations from Keplerian orbits. Duhem argued that since no contingent proposition can be logically deduced from what it contradicts, Newton could not have derived his law of gravitation directly from Kepler's laws. Pierre Duhem's philosophical insights challenged the prevailing scientific dogma of his time, paving the way for a more nuanced understanding of the relationship between hypotheses, experiments, and theory in the realm of science. His contributions continue to shape the field, inspiring new generations of thinkers to question established paradigms and explore the complexities of scientific inquiry. Pierre Duhem, a prominent philosopher of science, had a unique perspective on the limitations of physics compared to other sciences. He argued that physics is subject to methodological constraints that do not apply to other scientific fields. In his groundbreaking work, The Aim and Structure of Physical Theory, Duhem challenged the widely accepted idea of crucial experiments put forth by Francis Bacon. According to Duhem's critique, experiments in physics are not mere observations but rather interpretations of observations based on a theoretical framework. He believed that it is impossible to subject an isolated single hypothesis to an experimental test, no matter how well designed the experiment may be. Instead, what is tested is a complex network of interconnected hypotheses, background assumptions, and theories. This concept, known as confirmation holism, emphasizes the interdependence of scientific ideas. Duhem's notion of confirmation holism renders the idea of crucial experiments impossible. He argued that it is not feasible to isolate a single hypothesis and test it in isolation. Rather, the testing process involves examining the entire web of interconnected ideas, making it difficult to determine the validity of a single hypothesis in isolation. This holistic approach challenges the traditional view of physics as a deductive process based solely on facts and observations, as advocated by Isaac Newton. Duhem's philosophy of science has important implications for our daily lives. It highlights the complexity of scientific inquiry and the need to consider the broader context in which scientific ideas are developed and tested. In our increasingly interconnected world, understanding the interplay between different hypotheses and theories can help us navigate complex issues and make more informed decisions. It encourages us to question simplistic views and appreciate the intricate nature of scientific knowledge. Pierre Duhem, a prominent philosopher of science, held a unique perspective on the relationship between physics and religion. In his book, The Aim and Structure, he argued that metaphysical and religious doctrines are independent of the principles of physical theory. He stated, metaphysical and religious doctrines are judgments touching on objective reality, whereas the principles of physical theory are propositions relative to certain mathematical signs stripped of all objective existence. Since they do not have any common term, these two sorts of judgments can neither contradict nor agree with each other. Duhem believed that these two realms of knowledge, science, and faith, cannot be in conflict with each other because they deal with different aspects of reality. He emphasized that it is crucial for theologians and metaphysicians to have a deep understanding of physical theory to avoid misusing it in their speculations. Duhem's philosophy of science aimed to bridge the gap between these disciplines and promote a harmonious coexistence. Despite being a devout Catholic himself, Duhem was adamant that his scientific works should stand on their own merits, separate from his religious beliefs. He rejected the notion of Catholic science and emphasized the importance of impartiality and objectivity in scientific inquiry. 
Durham's philosophy of science sought to foster a mutual respect between scientific and religious perspectives, recognizing that they can both contribute to our understanding of the world in their own unique ways. Durham's philosophy of science has practical implications for our daily lives. It encourages us to embrace a multidimensional approach to knowledge, recognizing that different fields can offer valuable insights without necessarily conflicting with one another. By understanding that science and faith operate in separate domains, we can foster a more inclusive and tolerant society that appreciates the diversity of human thought and belief. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.